Hi everybody, uh, White Cliff Barris here at Explain Dedicated. Um, last week's vlog was for developers, this week is for pilots. I'll see you after the trailer. Double in November, 180 Bravo, Bravo, is it? November, 180 Bravo, Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your Uh 2,000 feet on 1014, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo, 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 Correct. What's your request of routing? Uh, let's go amend the rest. Oh, if you're ready, go correct it. So, this week, especially for pilots, and I've got a lot to tell you about. First thing, the first thing that is, somebody asked me if I was going to Cosford. And yes, I will be going to RAF Cosford on the 3rd of October. So, if you're there and you see me, come and say hello. If you want to talk about next plane, then we will. Whatever. Have a cup of coffee, maybe eat a pasty. So that's RAF Cosford in England, 3rd of October. I'll be there, hope you can make it. Um, you can also go on to Facebook, facebook.com and facebook.com slash flight simulator show and you'll find uh, RAF Cosford's Facebook page. Brilliant, sponsored by Flight One, PC Pilot and all the big names will be there as well. Last week on the vlog, I did a, a short piece on Phoenix, Arizona which was a, a, a scene that was done by Mr. XC. And Mr. XC has done it again and he's done LAX. And uh, the other evening I posted some pictures onto That's in Facebook of KLAX and it caused a little bit of a storm uh, with lots of comments and queries about the scenery. Um, somebody even said that it looked better than some payware scenery that they'd uh, paid for. It is freeware. It's only for X-Plane though. Uh, which is obvious because this is explained dedicated and it's absolutely stunning. It's one of the best sceneries I've seen. It's got uh, animated ground vehicles, there's monorails that move around in and out of the airport, uh, there's fuel trucks moving about. It's absolutely brilliant and it's very, very frame rate friendly. Mr. XC has really got the optimization down to a fine art. So, very frame rate friendly. Uh, you'll see more pictures. I suggest you go and get it. It's on xplane.org as always. Recently, um, in the last couple of days, and this is for developers, but really you will get the benefit. WED 1.4 has been released by Ben Sutnick. Um, WED, World Editor, is what we use for creating airports and sceneries. I'm not going to say any more than that, other than it's some really huge improvements for us, and you'll see those. And that brings me neatly on to uh, Manchester Airport again. I mentioned Manchester Airport in the last vlog and said there were two developers created and that was Emma Bentley and, and I've got it wrong again, Aerosim, Aerobridge, I'm not quite sure. But the one that's been done by Emma Bentley for x Dedicated Design Group uh, we were talking about this the other evening and uh, we've decided on a name. I'm not going to tell you what the name is other than it will be EGCC and it will mention x Dedicated Design Group. So keep an eye out for that and when it's finished it will blow your mind and of course it will be free. Um, something I noticed this morning uh, on x is a little application called Simple FMC. Simple FMC has been put together by a guy, a guy called Picky Tanga. Picky Tanga. P I K I T A N G A. And he did this as an exercise in learning C. Not only learning C, but learning the S X Plane SDK. And he's created a very simple FMC that works with all aircraft in X Plane. Um, it's free. It's an application, give it a go. Uh, I've had a quick look at it and it's very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. And finally, I don't often talk about payware sceneries um, because the freeware scenery market is just so huge. But I thought I would mention this one and this is Lima Yankee Bravo Echo, which is the Nikola Tesla airport in Belgrade, Eastern Europe. It's the largest it's the largest airport hub in Eastern Europe, apparently. And this has been put together by M's, MB Sceneries. MB Sceneries. Costs $16 or £10.46 or €14.67. Euros. So you've got all three prices there. Six, $16, £10.46 sterling, 
and 14.67 euros. So you can work it out. I think it's really cheap. It's just over 10 pounds. So for for me here in the UK, that is really cheap. It's a brilliant piece of scenery. It's photo real. It's all custom built buildings, uh, which is always a benefit. Uh, Fabulous auto photo scenery that's been uh, laid down. It's got high detail static aircraft, animated objects and dynamic, dynamic animated objects as well. There's just one area that I'm not happy about that I noticed where there's some of the buildings are solid grey with no features. Now that might just have been in the promotional screenshots, I don't know. But uh, that, that's a piece of work that needs to be done, some texture in there. So that's about it. Um, it, it looked like a lot of notes but uh, not that much. Main thing is RAF Cosford in October. If you can go, if you can get along, then get along there. It's a brilliant show, well worth seeing. And I'll see you all again soon. You take care, bye. Hi guys, I got to the end of the vlog and I kind of stripped down the camera and everything and brought it up from the kitchen and I'd done all the editing and I thought, I really should add a bit more uh, because this is supposed to be a pilot vlog. So, for the pilots, I looked on my shelf and I found this. This is the ATR 72500. And it, this actually is a really, really good model. It's fun to fly, but it needs some improvements. I will say it does need some improvements, but it is really, really a nice aircraft to fly. And uh, I, I've, I've flown it, I've struggled with it, but it is really good. And, you know, when you get it, you get a really neat little manual, yeah, it takes you through everything. You could probably get this really cheap now uh, through Aerosoft, okay. So the ATR 72500 uh, is, is, is really nice actually and it's, it's good fun to fly. You get it into some really nice short runways, so that's that. Then um, I bought this, I think I bought this last year at Cosford, or maybe even I bought this at uh, Weston, who knows. But this is Hamburg Airport. And I, I do have a problem with buying uh, airports for X-Plane, uh, because you can get some absolutely stunning freeware scenery. But once in a while, you know, you might have a bit of cash in your pocket. And uh, I bought Airport Ham Hamburg. It really, it, it's, it's, it's really, really good, but... But what happens, I think, with Aerosoft is that they know how to do things for FSX, but they're not that sure about X-Plane. So they get people to develop airports for X-Plane who used to work in FSX. And generally what happens is they just port them over. And whilst they look very good, you know, this is the manual you get with this, okay? So this is the manual that uh, shows you how to install it and what you need to do with settings. Um, which is really, you know, it's, it's a bit of a waste of time, but um, because they're not quite sure, sometimes they get things wrong. So, like, they don't have proper HDR lighting, just lit textures or whatever. So sometimes they get things a little bit wrong, uh, and I'm not too sure. The other airport that I have is this one here, which is Amsterdam. Now, this is breathtakingly, gobsmackingly beautiful no no other, no other words for it it is absolutely stunning okay you get two manuals with this one you get charts can you read that charts and uh, let me show you one of these in here they're in color some of them are in color such as uh, that one can you see that that's in color so you get the charts for the airport here's another one i don't know what chart it is because i haven't looked but you get another one that's in color as well brilliant so you get that and you get your setup manual as well and the setup manual shows you how to set it up and what it looks like scenery see hang on yeah the scenery the gates etc so it, it shows you how to set it up and it it, it is it's breathtaking you know you can you can wander around amsterdam and just just look around but but it's a killer on frame rates. It really is. And I've got a high-end machine, and this just doesn't work. It, no. Let me rephrase that. It works. You can install it. It looks great. But it's a bit of a frame rate killer. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. In the minimum system requirements here, for example, is uh, 
It says it says a processor CPU 2.6 gig dual core two core RAM. It's saying a minimum of two gigabytes of RAM. NVIDIA or AT, ATI graphics chip with a minimum of 512 megabytes. With that kind of specification, your machine will fall over. Believe me, it just will not run. It will run, but it'll be a slideshow. So, um, <clears throat> three P were P were pay were, pay were packages. Uh, three pay were packages. I don't often talk talk about pay were, other than aircraft for X plane. Um, for a number of reasons, and I think I may have highlighted those reasons now. Uh, very nice, with a big butt. So I just thought I'd add a, a little bit extra. Also, let me ask you a question. The first part of this vlog, I used my Canon camera, and I was sat down in my kitchen. It was a little bit echoey. What was the quality of the, the video like? I'm sorry about that my watch kept, kept making a noise on the table. I forgot to take my watch off, so it kept banging on the table. But... What was the quality like over the Logitech webcam or even iPhone or Android phones that I've used in the past? So I'd be really interested to know because, you know, maybe if I got a, a button mic um, and attached it to the Canon camera or even a boom mic and attached that to the Canon camera, we might get some really good video quality out of that. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. This is Wycliffe Barrett, x -Plane Dedicated. Take care. Number one, eight zero, bravo, bravo, with it. Number one, eight zero, bravo, bravo. Good afternoon to you. Report your altitude. Uh, two thousand feet on one zero one four, bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Understand you're looking for six zero. So climb not above initially, not above four thousand feet on the QNH one zero one four. Four thousand feet, bravo, bravo. Correct. What's your request for routing? Uh, let's go and then direct. Departure one ready, clear, ready, let's go.